here said in wow the guy thy diameter is two point seven inches. So we were saying that nearsighted needs to um, nearsighted converges too early. So the diameter of the eyes is that important? The diameter is two point five seven. Can you tell me? Go ahead and see if you want to finish off that part. I'm just drawing it. Um, so like light coming in through here. And then this will look like this. So it's every big Okay, motion. perfect. Okay, that's very good. Um, now when we went through this together, we drew rectangular eyes because it was easier to think of a flat retina. But maybe for this problem on the test, maybe it's better to draw it circular just because the real eye is circular. I don't know. The, the TA might think you're a little weird if you yeah. think your eye is a rectangle. Okay. Um, although, actually, I think for the rest of the problem, I would go back to the rectangular because it's just easier to think about a flat retina. All right, but anyway, here's our uh, eyeball. So, yeah, remember we call the back of the eyeball the retina. Here at the front, we've got the lens. The two rays that you drew were pretty good, except it's probably um, more conventional to draw them kind of coming in like this. Just one from above and one from below. I think you kind of drew them both coming in from above at different angles. That's fine, but this is a little bit more conventional way to draw this picture. And where point to where the image is? Yeah. We know the image is always where the outgoing light rays converge. So here's where the image would be. And it looks like you didn't have any trouble remembering that. The memory we thought of before was that you could think that nearsighted means that the rays converge too near to the lens. Nearsighted, you could think that the uh, rays are converging too near to the lens. Uh, so that gave us our nearsighted uh, image. And obviously, farsighted would mean that the rays converged out here behind the lens, too far from the, uh, I'm sorry, behind the retina, too far from the lens. Okay. All right. So it uh, looks like uh, you remember that one from we talked about it before. Oh, so there's one whole question about the eye that like, drove me crazy. That I didn't mm -hmm. get it. It was asking, um, so it gave you the focal point of, I guess, like what your eye is what it should be and then it was just asking what like the power of your like prescription would need to be right so I we have a set of class that it's it's like one over f right power but I don't know I guess I'll bring you an example but right no matter what I did one over f wouldn't work so I don't know I'll bring it yeah in. bring that in that that sounds like a very test like question so that'll be yeah. a good question for us to go through together okay I should yeah, I'll bring it. yeah. just bring in the actual question it's always easiest when you have that in front of us okay Okay, yeah, so part A didn't give you any trouble. So I, I made a couple suggestions, but I think you would get full credit for what you had drawn. So that's good. And uh, just for the record, remember that myopic means nearsighted, in case he doesn't say both of those. Yeah. Yeah. Hyperopic would be farsighted. tension that the curving becomes um, less more actually more yeah um, okay um, so I guess this is they give you the far point and the near point right so should I set up um, the like near equation sounds good So the so at yeah, the maximum tension. Okay, so depending on so if it's the maximum tension, I want either the the far one or the close one. 
Right. So I only use one of them. Um, right. So if I want it to be what, I don't know. Which one? Which one? I <laughs> so the maximum tension would make the eye rounder, right? If you think about, say, if you're holding a little contact lens between your fingers, um, t oh, maximum yeah. tension would be if you're pushing on it more, yeah. and that would make them rounder. So the, that's like what your muscles do. Makes it rounder or more curved. It turns out that you need that to see closer objects. You need to be rounder to see closer objects. Because then if it's rounder, your focal point is small, your focal distance is smaller. That's true. So then, does that make a difference? The way to think about that is, um, in order to see something, if something is closer, um, you need the eye to uh, have more converging power. Uh, so if you think about it, the you, you need the rays to converge on the retina, right? Yeah. Well, the rays have already converged a little bit when they were outside the eye. Yeah, the rays already converge somewhat when they're moving towards the eye. Oh, I see, I see. And then when they get to the eye, the lens converges it. it has to do the additional convergence so that they hit on the retina. Well, when, it's very, um, when the object is very close to the eye, there's very little convergence that happens outside of the eye. And that means you have to do more convergence inside the eye. Well, you have more convergence when you're rounded. I think you can see that from a mirror. Here we have a very round mirror with a lot of convergence. Let's say the mirror was flat. Let's take the extreme case. Well, then there would be no convergence, right? The rays would just bounce off in the same direction they came in. So if you take the extreme case, obviously if it was flat, there's no converging power at all. So the rounder you get, the more convergence you get. Well, when the object is very close to the eye, the rays did not have much time to converge outside of the lens, so the lens has to do all the converging. So you need a very round uh, lens, so, which means you need the maximum tension. So in our flowchart, it has to be maximum tension and rounder to see objects that are closer. Okay. So, so you want to find F, in this case, the, the maximum. So that makes, so you want to put in your near point into the equation, and that'd be from... Uh, Let's do that. Would that be... So one of these would become infinity, and one of these would become 22? Let's work through that. So the object distance is, is the near point? What number would that be? 22. Yeah, so we know. All right, so they're asking us for the focal length at maximum tension. Yeah. Well, maximum tension is when it's seeing something at the near point. So that means the object is at this eye's near point. The maximum tension is what you have to get to see the object as close as possible. That's right. So that's right. We would put in uh, the 22 centimeters for the object distance. What was the question asking us for? Um, the F. It's always good to write down the question mark. So if we just could get one more variable, we'd be in good shape. Let's uh, go 
Here's our object. Now, um, let's try to put all the information we can into our picture. What distance does the 22 centimeters represent? Um, how close the object is. So it's the distance between where and where? The eye lens and the object. Good. 